Okay, guys. So now coming to the lang graph. What exactly is lang graph? Lang graph is an extension of lang chain, which is built on top of lang chain. You can say, and it is built for creating stateful, cyclic, multi-agent workflows. So you can basically build or create agentic workflows, dynamic workflows using lang graph. So it treats your application as a graph where nodes can loop back, make decisions, and maintain complex state. So think of lang graph. Lang graph as a state machine where you can have loops. Conditionals, parallel execution, and human in a loop patterns. So, Langraph basically stands out as the most powerful uh, open source framework for building production-ready AI agents and orchestrating stateful, complex, and cyclic workflows. So, Langraph has this uh, has some components we need to understand. Um, the first is nodes. Uh, nodes represent tasks that is calling an LLM, fetching data from a database, uh, and then come and then there are edges edges define the flow between the tasks and then uh, come and then we have uh, state uh, state holds dynamic context example messages memory uh, that evolve uh, that evolve during the execution and here is a in the image as you can see here is a simplified workflow of an uh, email agent uh, that uses context engineering and uh, we are using lang graph here um, so it all starts with uh, um, receiving user query the user asks hey draft an email to john uh, about tomorrow's meeting and then the uh, and then it fetches the contact context context um, it retrieves user preferences example like tone uh, the grammar type to be used the personality and the calendar data and then it processes that with an llm use the llm to uses the llm to draft the email based on the context and the tone that we have provided and then it stores in the memory the next step save the interactions as uh, episodic memory for further references right and then at the end um, response generation return the drafted email to the user so this is a simple workflow using lang graph and uh, uh, let's see now how lang chain and lang graph are basically different from each other